Hey, it's Frank here with 4D Honeybee, and it is time to find out if I've got a queen in this hive or not. So when I installed this hive, it was a good, almost four weeks ago, it was 26 days ago, and the queen made a run for it. She jumped off the frame as I was transferring the nuke, and, uh, oh, look at this butterfly. Sorry, I get distracted easily. These days. Monarchs are coming out looking after, looking for the... Uh, the uh, milkweeds, which are all those those plants right there. So anyway, uh, what was I saying? Yeah, um, so I installed this nick. Sorry, I get distracted. Um, and I, the queen jumped off the bottom of the frame outside of the hive, fell onto the ground, flew up, flew around to the front of the hive, and I don't know if she made it back. I inspected the hive almost two weeks after, and there was no sign of a queen. So, uh, but the hive was making its own queen. It was making a new queen. So either we're going to find um, queen uh, activity in there, so brood, or we're not. If there's no brood, there's no queen. If there is brood, there is a queen. It's as simple as that now at day 27. And uh, if there isn't a queen, I'll have to start making plans to re-queen the hive or help them make another queen. And uh, it's been an incredible summer here so far. It is July 14th, and we have had about, oh, I'm going to say... 12 out of 14 of the last days have been incredibly sunny and unseasonably warm, like 30 degrees, which is about 86. We've had days up to 35 degrees, which is like 95 Celsius. So that's incredibly hot. Last year we had a total of 16 days in that temperature range. This year we've probably already had about 25 and we're only, only in mid-July. So the weather is great for bees that way. The bad news is that right over there, there normally is a river, right? You see just beyond the base of those trees, right at the base of those trees. That's dried up now. And it usually does dry up a couple times a summer. It'll come back when we get some decent rainfall. But right now my bees maybe have to travel instead of 50 yards for water, they've probably got to travel about three or 400 yards to the nearest watering hole. There is a ton of river systems around here, so I'm not worried about that. But um, the, the balance should be that because the weather is so nice, there, there's a lot of foraging that they can do. Water's a little harder to come by. So anyway, let's focus on finding the que queen in this hive. And thanks for joining me at 40 Honeybee. So just looking at the activity in this hive, it's okay. It's not amazing. This hive has been here for a month, so it should have produced a decent number of bees. When I installed this nuke, I installed two nukes at the same time. When I installed this one, it had more bees than the other one, and now the other hive seems to have more activity. Maybe that's a sign that it's queenless, maybe not. Let's see. Okay, so let's see how this hive does. I've lit my smoker up. It's a very calm day here. The smoke is basically not going anywhere. Anyway, we'll give them a little shot here. These bees so far have been incredibly well behaved and tame. And you know I just jinx myself. But even when they were queenless, when I checked them last time, they were very calm. So let's hope they stay that way. A decent number of bees under the lid. We'll always check for the queen on the lid, on the upper lid, the outer lid, the telescoping lid, which you're looking at right over here. Looks like your angle's a little messed up. I'm going to change your angle a little bit. Looks like you're a little too steep. How's that? Is that better? Okay, so there's not a huge amount of bees. You can see the four frames that I installed originally. Looking for the queen on the lid here. They've built some burr comb, which I'll get rid of later. So 
So now most important thing is brood, right? That's what's going to tell me if there is or is not a queen on here in this hive. Outside frames I expect to be uh, honey because I installed them there. So. Once you get that frame out, things do become a little easier. You just want to roll this one out really slowly. So here we go. What a beautiful frame. Frame's chocker block full of honey. I'm just looking for the queen on here, but wouldn't expect to see her on here. Again, I'm, I'm not particularly looking for a queen. I'm really just looking for signs of a queen. I'm not going to find it on these first couple of frames, maybe on the third, but surely as I come over here into these plastic frames, the white ones that you see there, that's where there's going to have to be brood if there is a queen in here. If there's no brood in there, there ain't no queen. Another beautiful honey frame here. Looking for a queen. What do you see there? Okay, now since I've got a decent amount of room in the hive, I won't pull the rest of these frames out. I'll just kind of move them over. Another frame that could have, should have, would have been brewed, but you can see it's just being filled with nectar. Have a look at this via the GoPro. See another frame that could be full of brood, but it's just being filled with nectar. Okay, these next couple of frames are going to tell us the story for sure. Let's see what we got here. Okay, moment of truth says no brood, and no evidence of a queen. Okay, keep looking. See, they're still bringing in pollen, bringing in plenty of nectar, but there is no queen laying here in this hive, and that's a big problem. No queen laying equals dead hive, sooner or later. So we'll keep looking. Okay, okay. They were making a queen. There was a queen cell, but I don't see any queen making ability or activity now. Oh, wait a minute. This frame, as you can see here, maybe you can see it on the GoPro. It's got some. Well, I was going to say it had some uh, eggs in it, but they're not eggs. It's just the shimmering of the um, shimmering of the nectar in there. There you can see one supersedure cell nothing in it. Well, let's just wait a minute. And there's the queen. There is a huge queen right there. Look at her. See her right there? Right there. There's the queen.
So maybe I did see eggs in here. Because that queen, let's see if I get her to see if I can see her laying an egg. Come on, queen, stick your butt in the hole there. I mean that in the nicest way possible. There she did. Okay. So the hive does have a queen. I'm going to set her back in there. She's a big queen too. I'm going to gently press that side up against the other frame there. I'm just going to look at this frame now just to see if there's any brood because although I did see the queen there, I didn't see any brood. see what we got here. This frame's a lot heavier. Well, still just, uh, still just honey and nectar on this side. No brood there either. So we definitely spotted a queen. Now, what does that mean? Well, it should mean that she's laying. Let me take one more frame here. Oh, that's a honey frame. It should mean that she's laying. It could mean that she's not. She looked big and beautiful, which usually means she's fertile. I did think I saw eggs. Then I kind of dismissed them as just uh, nectar. Now, there was a lot of nectar in those frames, so it may be that, that this is a new queen that they built, and in the absence of the old queen, they're becoming honey bound. So they put a lot of nectar in to areas where there should be a queen laying. So what I'm going to do with this hive is nothing. I'm going to observe it. I clearly saw the queen there. I really hope you got a good look at her on video. And I'm just going to let her do her work because that may be the new queen that they hatched out. If it is the new queen, I'm just going to go back and do a little bit of math and see how long she's been um, alive and kind of work back to where I would expect to start seeing her laying, <clears throat> laying and capping brood. You follow me? So, there's a queen in this hive, definitely. I saw her. Hopefully you saw her. And we're going to leave this hive alone and let it do work. Again, my goal for this year, this is year number five for me of beekeeping, but my entire yard was wiped out by a bear in the spring. So essentially I'm starting over. And I always tell people, have a goal. Have a goal when you beekeep. Have a goal with each inspection. Have a goal with everything you do. My goal for this year is just to have these bees survive the winter. So that's it. I'm not taking any honey. I don't particularly need to do splits, although I will grow the hives as I see uh, fit. Um, so, along those terms then, what I've just got to do is maybe wait about another week and come back and see how this queen is doing and how this hive is doing. Decent number of bees, not a massive number of bees, but a decent enough number that they're doing some good foraging. If the queen starts laying eggs, then they're going to be alright. So that's it for this inspection. Thanks for joining me at 4D Honeybee.